moving on from the video where I showed you my pony's back is starting to drop a little bit with age, I thought whilst I'm out here with him, I will show you very quickly about curved girths because I get asked an awful lot about curved girths and the use of them and do people need them. And he's quite a good example of a horse that needs a curved girth. Why is that? That is because the back of his shoulder here, I'm gonna try and draw on him. I don't know if you can see with my nails. This is the back of his scapula here. Can we see that line there? That is his, this is his shoulder blade. And as his front leg moves, his shoulder blade does this. So because of that, we have to make sure that we sit the saddle behind his shoulder blade there. So if you imagine that's his shoulder blade, so therefore we'd have to sit the saddle like this, which is gonna make the girth want to come down here. Can we see down here? Whereas when you look at him, actually, you can see that his most narrow point is definitely more here in his elbow. And that means the skirt is gonna naturally get sucked up to the narrower part of his body, because it's gonna go, it's gonna to gravitate towards the narrowest part of him. And when that happens, it's gonna try and pull the saddle forward over this shoulder of his. And he's got a big old shoulder. We don't want to be sitting on this shoulder. We need the saddle to sit behind the shoulder. So he has a dressage saddle, mainly. So now we're gonna pop his saddle on and we're gonna sit it back behind the edge of his scapula. Watch this space. This here is the back of his shoulder. The saddle sitting nice and clear by the back of his shoulder and on it sitting on here. And we're gonna have a look. I'm gonna grab his girth. So when we look here at where these girth straps hang naturally, even though it's coming from the point of the saddle here, the girth itself wants to, la wants to lay about here. His body is gonna make the girth want to sit here. So we compromise and we let the girth do the, the work for us. So what happens is this curve here allows this to sit, this bit here to sit up into like where the girth naturally wants to sit. And this bit here allows it to sit backwards a little bit more. tighten his girth slightly. We can see, I hope you can see, he normally gets a treat after his girth being tighter, so hang on. So now we've got his girth on, and started to tighten it up a little bit. We can see here that this curve comes forward into here where the girth naturally wants to sit, and then it curves back and it allows the straps to sit back here. So the saddle itself hasn't moved edged forward at all. I could ride for days in this and it wouldn't move forward because that girth here is sitting where the girth wants to sit whilst allowing the saddle to sit where the saddle needs to sit. So that is what a curved girth is. So often when you get a girth like this and you look at it and it's got all this fancy and they call it anatomical or curved and all of this stuff, actually sometimes they're not true curves. I'm going to do another video another day where we're going to talk about what is a truly curved girth because a lot of them look curved but don't actually do this. Some of them have got lots of shape to them, but don't actually allow a saddle to sit back from the shoulder. This girth here that I'm using is the ideal F2 girth, and I recommend these to loads of people. They are fantastic girths. They're really soft, they're really squishy, they're made out of the most gorgeous leather, and they are a very, very, very good shape. As you'll see in the video I do about girth shapes, there's loads of different shapes, and this particular shape is really good. There are loads of companies that make them. This isn't the only one, but this is, in my opinion, definitely one of the best. New, they're about £120 for a dressage one, about £150 for a full length one, but well worth it. And the leather is beautiful. And let's face it, hey, I paid more than that for the saddle cloth, which is beautiful. So, yeah. I really hope you found that useful and you can see what I'm doing because it's ever so bright out here. Please watch, subscribe, all of the videos. Like, like I said, I'll be doing another one about girths and I'm also going to do one about dressage girth length. So stay tuned and I'll speak to you soon. Enjoy.